This is the magic part. If you've never done this before, your mind's going to be blown. Okay, spread out your project, your garment. This is a bodice piece that's wrong side up, facing right side up, and then here's my other bodice piece, wrong side up, so spread it all out. And this is called the burrito method, and you're going to see why. Start on one end and start rolling it up. Keep rolling, and then when you get to about right there, take your facing piece that's right side up, flip it right side down. Okay, do you see this that's left of your bodice pieces that are wrong side up? These facing pieces are going to flip around and be right sides together with this part of your bodice. Okay, you ready? So hold on to your burrito and flip it and look for your facing piece. There it is, right side of the facing, right side of your bodice. And we're not going to pin it or sew it along the straight edge. It's going to be, let me turn it, This one over. There we go. Along the curve. So either get clips or pins. And if you'll notice, the rest of your garment is kind of tucked in there, so push it out of the way. You don't want to sew it. Make sure it's tucked down in there. You just want your bodice armhole and your facing armhole. That's all that you're going to be sewing. So clip those together. All the way around, keeping your all that your burrito stuffing tucked inside. See, it's inside. Push it down out of the way, and then here are your seams. Match those up. And remember, we're just going to be sewing the curve. Not the straight edge, just the curve. Shake it a little bit. Oh, you also have notches here that we made when we cut out the pattern. So match those up. That lets us know that we are doing this correctly. Got all about the notches. Just make sure you keep the part of your garment that's tucked inside this burrito, keep it out of your way. You don't want to sew through that. Kind of shake it, stuff it down in there, and here's my single notches those up. Okay, so this is what it should look like. the curve pinned. Remember, we're not going to sew this straight edge yet. And then a lot of your garment is tucked inside this burrito. And then that's hanging out, and that's hanging out. So sew this curve, very important, at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Back stitching at the beginning and end. Do that and meet me back here for the next step. Okay, now that you've sewn your seam, shake it really well and feel all along and make sure you did not catch anything that's rolled up in your burrito that you just sewed two layers together. 
And once you're sure of that, we're going to do like we did in a previous step. I'm going to use my pinking shears, and if you use those, use those. If you use Helen's notching method, use that, whatever you prefer. And we're going to trim this seam allowance, and since it's a curve, we want to use either the notches or the pinking shears because that makes curves lie more flat. So make sure you're only cutting the seam allowance and not into your stitches, just close to your stitches, but not through your stitches. And stop every so often and make sure you're only cutting the seam allowance and not any of your project. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. You're going to reach inside your burrito and start pulling what's inside out. Be gentle. Just keep pulling until everything's through. So, there are your armhole seams beautifully sewn with the facing. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so this is the armhole seam we just sewed. So this is the finished one. So put it on the bottom and then here's the one we haven't sewn yet. So you have your wrong side of your bodice pieces up and the right side of your facing up. The unsewn is up here. So start on the sewn side and roll up your burrito. Okay, and take your unsewn facing piece that is now right side up and flip it so it's right side down. And here's the part we're going to attach it to. So hold on to everything inside and flip it. And now your facing piece is right side up. So you can put right sides together of your bodice piece with your burrito fillings stuffed inside. And find your other end. Remember we're not sewing the straight edges yet, just the curve. And we should have some notches again like we did before. Kind of shake everything and stuff it down in there. And you're only sewing the two layers, remember. Your facing piece and your bodice piece, right sides together. And find your notches. There are mine. Match those up. Match up your seams. Match those up nicely. Making sure to keep everything else tucked down in there. You do not want to sew through that. Only the two layers. Your facing and your bodice piece. There should be notches over here. There they are. Match those up.
And then once you have it all pinned or clipped, your fingers all along as you're sewing and pushing the rest of it out of the way. You don't want to sew through it with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Sew your curve, back stitching at the beginning and end, and either use the notching method or pinking shears like we did on the other side and trim your seam allowance and then pull it through just like we did the other one.